abandoned your family and Hoshiro. Now pay for your betrayal! Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mangs, and I welcome you guys to another Fire Emblem Fates character spotlights. You all betrayed your family and Hoshido, and it's time to pay for your betrayal with the spotlight of Takumi. Yeah, that line made about as much sense as the plot of Revelations, so let's get this show on the road. Takumi is the brother of Ryoma, Hinoka, and Sakura, and the third child of King Sumeragi and Queen Ikona of Hoshido. Yes, you heard that correctly, Queen Ikona. Mikoto is in fact not the mother of any of the Hoshiden royals, but instead was married to King Sumeragi after Ikona died. The game does very little to mention this, and Ikona herself is hardly mentioned at all. In fact, this image of her is fan-made, link in the description, as we never see her face in the game itself. Growing up, Takumi felt extremely overlooked as he was constantly overshadowed by the skills of his older brother Ryoma, who was stronger and more physically gifted than himself. Takumi was originally going to become a samurai, but after a training match with Ryoma that ended in the most humiliating defeat, he decided to become an archer instead, as he knew he would never be able to match Ryoma's swordplay. In order to receive recognition from his family, Takumi ruthlessly trained himself every day, hoping to receive their admiration and respect. Yet, despite all of his training, he never really felt truly acknowledged, and this made him develop a lot of insecurities. As with the other royals, Takumi would enlist the service of two retainers, a samurai called Hinata and a spearfighter named Oboro. The game actually does not give us any backstory about how these retainers came into Takumi's service, so we can only really speculate. Despite his insecurities, Takumi would grow up to become a very talented archer, though he would always face internal struggles trying to find his place in the family. Takumi is a young man in his late teens. He has orange eyes and light blonde hair that he keeps in a ponytail on his back. Unlike his siblings, who all dress in the traditional Hoshiden color red, Takumi instead wears a blue vest with white fur. He wears a traditional archer glove on his right hand and is usually seen holding one of the Hoshiden sacred relics, the Fujin Yumi. Takumi's personality is that of someone trying to find his place in the world. Years of constantly being overshadowed by his older siblings, combined with immense pressure to live up to the greatness expected of the Hoshiden royalty, has left many insecurities and doubts in his mind, and we see these manifest themselves in many different ways. Primarily, we see that Takumi is very loath to trust new faces. Even Korin, who is well-liked by everyone, takes a long time to earn his trust. However, Takumi is also fiercely loyal to his family and friends, and will do anything in his power to protect them. While his insecurities can make him come off as cold and brutish, Takumi has a good heart and truly cares about those close to him. As a unit, Takumi is easily the best archer in the entire game. He will join you in Chapter 10, both in Birthright and Revelation, meaning his availability is fantastic compared to most of the other royals. With well-rounded stats and growth rates, draconic blood, and his own personal weapon, Takumi is one of those units that are simply too good not to use. Being an archer, Takumi has a ridiculous base skill of 19 and a skill growth of 75%, ensuring he will rarely miss his target. His base speed of 11 isn't fantastic, and he might not double everything at first, but a 55% growth on the stat ensures that he will probably get there pretty fast. Takumi's main strength, however, comes from his personal weapon, the Fujin Yumi. On player phase, Takumi will at base fire off arrows dealing 31 points of damage, which can flat out one-shot many opponents. The Fujin Yumi has a rather low hit chance of 70%, but this is greatly offset by Takumi's insane skill, so it's not really an issue. In addition to basically shooting nukes, it also grants him 5% crits, 10% avoid, and the ability to make him freely traverse any passable terrain without penalty. Yes, this means Takumi can sprint over mountains and rivers like it's nothing, making him ridiculous mobile. Furthermore, as with the other unique weapons, this ability applies as long as the Fujin Yumi is in his inventory, even if he changes to a class incapable of wielding bows. Being an archer, Takumi obviously suffers from the dreaded archer curse. Despite his amazing damage output, he still falls victim to simply being attacked at close range and not being able to retaliate. 
Thus, unless you position him in such a way that the enemies are forced to attack him from a distance, such as placing him on the other side of a wall or behind a tanky unit, Takumi will never be effective during the enemy phase. While there are bows that can attack at one range, such as the Shining Bow or the Sidelong Yumi, these usually come with penalties to offset this advantage, and even if Takumi can retaliate at one range, he is not super durable, so it is not recommended that he tanks a lot of hits. There is actually a way around this curse in Fates, and that is by completing the 6th DLC map of Heirs of Fates without taking any casualties. This will grant you the Point Blank Manual, which allows a unit to attack at one range with bows. Needless to say, if you give Takumi the skill, he will easily become one of the best units in the entire game. In fact, this is so broken that many people consider it downright cheating, but hey, if it's in the game, feel free to take advantage of it. Fates does a lot of things to combat the Archer Curse, mainly thanks to dual strikes, which means that Takumi can be useful more than once on player phase, if you position units correctly. He can also stand behind a tanky melee unit and dish out dual strike damage on enemy phase. While dual strikes inflict half damage, Takumi with his immense damage output can still dish out heavy hits with his Fujin Yumi, so this mechanic definitely makes archers more viable than they have been in the past. Hand axes and javelins used to outclass bows in the previous games, by offering physical units a 1-2 range alternative, but in Fates they are heavily nerfed, being unable to double or land critical hits, and also debuffing a unit's effective speed by 5 points. This change alone makes bows more valuable, since they can attack at 2 range without these penalties. In Fates, bows also for the first time have their place in the weapon triangle, being strong against lances and hidden weapons, but weak against swords and tomes. Many would consider this a good thing for archers, as the weapon triangle usually is a tool utilized in favor of the player. Takumi's personal skill, competitive, grants him 10% crits, 3 damage, and minus 1 damage taken whenever he is supporting a unit of a higher level. For promoted units, simply add 20 to their level total. Since this skill is basically the polar opposite to his older brother Yoma's skill, the two work very well together since their skills basically complement each other, as long as Takumi doesn't overtake Yoma in terms of experience, that is. This means that Takumi is great at working together with stronger units such as pre-promotes, though the argument can be made that it is the weaker units that need the support the most, so this skill isn't always fantastic. Takumi also comes with the Archer skill Quick Draw, which gives him plus 4 damage whenever he initiates an attack. This is a fantastic skill, as most of Takumi's action will happen on player phase, and combined with the damage output of the Fujin Yumi, Takumi will be ridiculous at dishing out damage. Using a Master Seal, Takumi can promote to either a Sniper or a Kinshi Knight. While a flying Fujin Yumi may sound like a lot of fun, Sniper is definitely the perfect class for him, as it will passively give him plus 10% hits and crits, which combined with his already fantastic skill will make him land almost all attacks, and will also make him crit a lot, which usually results in very dead enemies. Takumi will also pick up Certain Blow at level 5, which gives him plus 40% hit whenever he is initiating an attack. This may sound like complete overkill, and in most cases it absolutely is, but this skill ensures that Takumi will never miss, even against extremely elusive foes with skills such as Bowbreaker. At level 15, Takumi will pick up Bowfare, which increases his already massive damage output by 5. There's not much to say here, he will literally become a walking nuclear warhead with this skill, capable of one-shotting even high defense enemies such as generals and great knights. While Kinshin Knight certainly isn't a bad choice for Takumi, the skills he gains simply won't synergize as well with his playstyle, not to mention the fact that the Fujin Yumi already gives him movement as if he were a flyer, but with the benefit of being able to take advantage of defensive terrain, something he will lose if he hops onto a flying mount. Sure, he will gain one extra point of movement compared to a sniper as well as access to lances, and of course he gains the ability to traverse impassable terrain such as peaks, but Kinshin Knight also has lower promotion gains, not to mention that he will never be able to reach S rank in bows, so it really isn't all that great. Air superiority, which Takumi will gain at level 5, will make him better at fighting flyers, but his insane skill combined with the fact that the Fujin Yumi will pretty much kill any flying unit in a single hit means this skill is completely unnecessary, and Amaterasu, which he will pick up at level 15, just falls short compared to Bowfare. Using a Heart Seal, Takumi can reclass into a Spare Fighter. While he will enjoy the passive benefits of the Fujin Yumi by holding it in his inventory, I don't see this as a smart move at all, as the personal weapons are among the strongest in the game, and you are simply gimping yourself by not using them. 
The argument can be made that reclassing Takumi back and forth to give him sealed defense is a valid option, but Takumi is a high damage unit that you want to use to kill off units, not to weaken their defenses. Sealed defense is a fantastic skill to have on a tanky melee unit as you can send someone into the fray and debuff multiple enemies. Archers on the other hand simply don't make good use of this skill at all. Once Takumi obtains an S rank support with any female units, he will become the father of Kiragi the Archer. Despite being his son, Kiragi is not able to wield his father's Fujin Yumi, at least not in the main story, so he will for the most part act as a mini Takumi without the personal bow. At the end of the day, Takumi is a ridiculously strong unit, but that is mostly the case for all the royals. While he does sadly invalidate almost every other archer in the game, poor Setsuna, his Fujin Yumi is sure to carve a path through your enemies. Just keep him well protected during the enemy phase and he will serve you quite well. Are we through? I've got things to do. Thank you for watching this character spotlights. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and a comment, it really helps out the channel a lot. If there is a certain character you'd like to see me feature in a future spotlight, let me know about it in the comment section below. Just be sure to visit my playlist as I may have covered your favorite character already. Below you can also go directly to some of the other spotlights I've done by clicking on them. This fantastic outro image, as well as the thumbnails and wallpapers you see used during my spotlights, are made by my designer, Mina Tangerina. You can check out more of her amazing work at her Facebook page by clicking the link in the video description. You can also follow me at Twitter at mangs1337 or join my Facebook group for Mangs. Just be warned, TC is there. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed this character spotlights. As always, my name is Ben Mangs, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.